points to 0.51, we made, we decided that this is really my mining area in my basement. Maybe that was episode 13, I don't remember. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing this episode. We might, I think we're, we're actually going to find a cave. I'm feeling it today. But before I actually start talking about what I want to talk about, I'd like to tell you guys that I am on winter break, finally. So I'll be making way more content for you guys. And make sure you tell all your friends, all your family, tell your grandma. Tell your grandma that this awesome guy is going to be making more videos. And make sure to show them to her. Because grandmas don't really know how to use technology. And it will make her day. Also, one more thing. I'd like to do another Q&A. So if you would like a Q&A, please comment a question or two, maybe more. Or send me a tweet. My Twitter is at the name is Derp. I believe it's in my, in my description. And if I get enough questions, I'll do another Q&A video similar to my previous one because it turns out that a lot of people actually like that one. So make sure to ask more than one question because I don't think I have enough people. And also tell your friends about this so they can also ask questions and I can actually get a fan base so I can do these things more often. Oh look, I found a cave. That's cool. It's whoa. That's cool. It's like a railroad. Woo. So let's, let's actually get, let's actually start talking about what I want to talk about. I apologize for the text messages. Um, I'm having a, uh, some drama right now, and they've been just coming in really, like, a lot. And uh, that won't happen in the like, next videos. I'm just having a bunch of, pro a lot, some problems right now that I need to fix with my friends. And, you know, I'm, not, I'm fine with it, it's just they're not really, I don't know, I can't really explain it. It's too much, too much detail. So anyways, let's get to the topic I want to talk about. Since it's, you know, the holidays, I let's talk about, like, gifts and just, you know, holiday things. So, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, you know, Happy Hanukkah. Well, late, because that happened a while ago. Late Thanksgiving, you know, all the things. Um, I hope you guys are having a nice week or day or whatever. For me, uh, winter break just started. I'm pretty sure that's for most people. And now, it's, I don't know, I'm pretty excited. Me and my family are going to go skiing soon. They're, well, I'm snowboarding. They're skiing. I've never actually snowboarded. They're going to snowboard. Bleh, I'm going to learn snowboard, snowboarding, and they're going to ski. So, anyways, um, I actually want to ask you guys what gift you would like to get for the holidays or what you got on Hanukkah. So, basically, um, I think that gifts have gotten less meaningful because, like, all people do is give money or gift cards and that kind of ruins the whole point because you actually gotta like think out what you're gonna get the person and no one actually does that anymore they just give you like a hundred dollars like 50 bucks like a gift card and that, that basically like defeats the whole purpose of getting a gift for someone because like I don't know it's just weird I remember back in the day like way back in the day people actually thought about it and actually got you a gift and not a gift card I remember I got this like I don't know what it was. I was like six, and I got like, I got like a truck. I got like so much shit. Oh my, I was so size, dude. A truck. Pretend you're like six years old, and you have this like truck that you can fit in, and it's like it's not that big. It's like just like you barely fit in it. Only one person can fit in it, but like it's basically a sled, but not really, because you like sit in it like a sled. It's like the truck, the back part of a truck. It was like the truck. There's like the go the. What is it? The baggage put or whatever it's called. I forgot what it's called. Uh, the car not the car. The garage not the garage. The baggage. You know, you know what I'm talking about. That thing's like, you know, how it's open. You can, you can sit in that and it like rolls on wheels. So my parents would like pull me around. And dude, I was so psyched. Like if I got like money back then, I wouldn't be so happy about it. Because first off, that it just shows my parents didn't have the time to think about what I want. And second, it just defeats the whole purpose like I said before. It's not as fun. You have to think of what you want. And you probably spend it like useless shit. And even now, if you get like... I don't know. Unless they get you clothes, then that's stupid. Because like, I don't know. I, this is just my parents. But I can go shopping whenever I want. If I just ask. You know, that's like... That's my parents' fault. I don't know about you. But if they get you like... If your grandpa gets you like a book. I mean, you're not going to be psyched about that. That kind of sucks. But... He still, at least he thought, thought about that, you know, you, you didn't go to college or whatever, if you're, like, older or if you're younger than, like, a 
this Google still help you later on. He thought about your future, that he could like help you out. And like, I guess I, that's more meaningful than just giving money. Even though you don't want it, it still means a lot more than, I don't know, it just means a lot. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but that's, that's, what, that's what I think. I think people should actually get gifts and not money. And, um, it'll just, it'll mean much more. Even though you, you have to think about it, you'll spend more time. I think it'll just, it'll just be better. So, I guess I'm gonna end the video here because I don't really have anything else to talk about about this subject. Um, basically, what happens 